Yo, hello everyone! Are you new to Webflow and struggling with moving elements around your websites? In this video, I will show you how to easily move and position elements on your Webflow website. You will learn some essentials and tips on how to do so. So, without any further talking, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So, the first thing that I will need you guys to do is simply go ahead and launch your browser. Right from here, go to the URL section on your browser and then search for Webflow. So you can just Google it like that. And let me just remove this and add English so you can have the actual English version of this website. Now click on the first link and they will take you here. Simply now, all you need to do is go to this view dashboard and they will take you to the dashboard if you have an account. Let me show you how to create one real quick. So I will sign out of my account right by clicking to sign out of my account here. So here we go. And then they will take me to like the main page. This is how it looks like. I can just remove this to show you how it looks like really in depth. And here it is. So you can either get started for free or you can go check their pricing and choose a plan from their pricing plans. So let's check their plans first in case you'd like to go for one first. Here you will have four kinds of plans or three main plans. There is of course the basic, CMS and the business one. So each one of these has their own features. For example, the basic has a custom domain, zero CMS items, 500 monthly form submissions and 50 gigabyte bandwidth. The CMS has 2K CMS items, 1K monthly form submissions, 200 GB bandwidth, and 3 content editors. And the last one, which is the business, has 10K CMS items, 2.5K monthly form submission, 400 GB bandwidth, and 10 content editors. Well, there is, of course, beside those three plans, the free one, which has a webflow.io domain, so you don't really get a custom domain, which is a .com domain name and 50 CMS items, 50 form submissions and one gigabyte bandwidth. So, and in the other side, you will find the enterprise uh, plan. The enterprise plan, of course, will be much expensive than all of these. And it is very customizable as you'd like. You'll get custom domain name. You will have more than 10K CMS items. It is depending on how many you ask for. A custom monthly form submission a custom bandwidth, a custom content editors, and uptime SLAs in here, of course. Now, either you want to go for one of these site plans or uh, workspace plans, uh, they are kind of different, so it is all up to you to look for them. You can see all the features in details over here, the same goes for this one. So you have to really read about them step by step, one by one, so you can decide which one to go for in case you were interested. And in general, you will find general and e-commerce. So there is so many plans, guys. Uh, it is kind of um, complicated for you to get which one to go for. So I highly recommend you guys to actually go through the features one by one in your free time and then read them all so you can get uh, which one to go for. Or you can just ask, for example, ChatGPT for the best plan for your own uh, objects. Now let's get our free plan because we are going to go with the free version. So let's create another account using the free version. Here you can just connect using your Gmail account or use a work email address. So I'm going with my Gmail account and I'm going to choose my email. And from here guys, all you gotta do is delete, some, let me just delete one of these. So here we go. I am going to delete it forever. I have deleted it successfully and from here just click on new site and you will be able to create a new site here you might find four templates a blank site portfolio business and store and below you can find some paid templates here you can see them all and here some free templates with like some images into them so you can adjust them all by yourself for example, we can try this one and select it. And here you just have to choose the site name. So test and create sites. 
and as you can see it has been created successfully now all you have to do is wait until it is fully loaded now first of all guys we have created the website and now we can choose how we want to see it so here you can choose the devices from a mobile phone a rotated mobile phone here i think a tablet uh, here a laptop and here are like a huge uh, screen i guess so for me i'm going to go with this desktop uh, image and now let's look to the site so let's take a look first so the website is actually looking pretty clean everything looking really nice uh, i don't see any problem with it and now it comes the time where we want to change and move elements so in case you'd like to move this image or something like that you can't really just drag it like so so dragging it is not really a solution because it can make some problems as you saw here um, you can actually move it around but it will not have the same uh, movement that you'd like for example if you wanted to move it a little bit to the right it's not just like click on it and drag in it it's not working really like so so what we do we should do in that uh, case we can change here the position so we can actually go here click on the element and go to the position and try to make it move so here you might find a lot of variations so here is uh, here you can find uh, top right uh, top left you can find the bottom left and bottom right here uh, just the left side here right side and here the bottom here the top and here the center of course as you can see it might not be really the center that you are looking for so just go and move it around using this from here so everything will be easily adjusted for you you can make it even go down below i think a little bit unless it was in a closed section yeah it is a closed section so you can't really move it anywhere but you can make it go to the top a little bit and here we go so it will disappear but i think it will appear right be be below this so let's try this out let's make it go all the way down yep it's appearing so it depends on the actual layer so if i try to move this all the way up to here and now if we go down so it will actually be appearing above everything yep it is actually working like i said so so basically if you are familiar with photoshop it is the same logic so these are all layers different kind of layers as you can see here and if you move the image that you are looking for above all the layers of course they will hide underneath it so once you move this image it will hide all the text and layers that are underneath it so make sure to put that in mind so yeah it is pretty easy guys to move any item for example let's try to move another item just by taking this back to its uh, original position so let's try to make ctrl z ctrl z ctrl z a lot of times and here we go all right let's try now to move something else for example um this video so let's try to move it the same thing click on it and make sure guys sometimes it will appear that uh, this icon make sure to turn it to this icon the style icon it will not show you these uh, settings on the actual uh, element settings so go to the style icon and then go to position here you might find all the things that I have shown you so I can move it through here and take it where ever i'd like to take it the same logic guys if i take it underneath this layer it will be um hide it behind them so all you need to do take it all the way to the top here for example and it might be looking good so now let me just try to take it to the top um here we go and as you can see it is actually showing above some layers as you can see it is even showing above the card that we have made it to the top uh, the last time uh, this is only because i have ctrl z so i made it to the original position which was like the bottom of all the other layers beside this one so yeah guys that was completely it. that's how you can remove uh, move items inside of webflow thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video